Finally, Pablo, do you have any three specific tips for job seekers in terms of elevating their job search? Yeah, I'll give you three specific tips. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very similar to what I've been talking about, right? Number one, get out there and network. Put yourself in the room with other people where they can get to know you, right? If you don't want to be a resume that's just being emailed in, you want to be a warm referral. And the best way that you can do that is by seeking out people in the industry that you want to be in uh, and, and doing that. Two, get involved with philanthropies, right? If you are looking for a job, if you're the, the most influential, some of the wealthiest some of the most successful people in your community are on the boards of charities. It just is what it is. So once you get into that room with these philanthropies and you start working your way up, you can start approaching people that are very, very heavy, heavily influencers and, and, and heavy you know, decision makers and, and weight carriers in your community from the standpoint of, oh, you're a part of best buddy of uh, the best buddies program. I'm a, I'm a part of the best buddies program too. You know, I'm, I've been raising money for this or I'm part of this committee and you start building a very, very organic relationship by walking in the door of value next level. If you want to get very tactical about it, find out who the CEO of whatever company that you want to work for is find out what charity they're on, call that charity up and ask if you can volunteer in one of their committees or volunteer at one at the gala at the big event whatever you got to do, you're going to be in a room full of very, very influential people. And third is approach it from a, you know, approach everything from what value you have to give. Right. I just got an email from a friend of mine from high school that saw my content on LinkedIn. And she's telling me that, you know, her contract is coming up and she's probably going to have to be out there on the job market and looking for another job. And she's done really well at this job but it's because her bosses are quirky and they get that she's quirky and should she be herself at an interview? I think absolutely be yourself. Show, you know, the, the, the moment where they're asking whether or not they're going to hire you is the moment that you're going to be treated the best. So if you are presenting yourself as somebody who you're not, all you're going to do is find a role for yourself that you're going to dread going into at a certain point because you're just going to be burdened by this mask that you've been wearing. Here's a little secret. Everyone is quirky. Everybody has that issue. And what they're looking for is not whether you're quirky or not quirky. They're looking for somebody that can help them get to where they're trying to be. So if you are, if you are cognizant of your value and what you have to bring to the table and you know that what you are offering is something that you can deliver on, or at least you believe that you care more than the next person and that you're very sincere about how much you care and your passion and whatnot, go in there riding that wave. Don't go in there riding the wave of like, what, are they, what do these people want and how can I fit into it? Go in there riding the wave of this is what I have to give. And if that is what they're looking for, then that is what I will provide. If it's not what they're looking for, hey man, another, another two months without a paycheck is going to be way better than another two years of just like hating when you wake up, hating what you walk into, you know, having stress about your boss or, 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 or their problems. So network, add value to people's lives, use philanthropy strategically in a way to get close to the people that make the biggest decisions in your town, and three, be yourself in all of those things. Yeah. Be yourself is very important. Be authentic. Don't lie to yourself or to others. Yep. That's Agreed. Great. And with that, Pablo, my interview with you comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to ask you these few questions, which I believe are very useful to my audience. And for the audience listening or watching, if you have any other tips in terms of uh, tips to job seekers, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, reach to us, to our network on LinkedIn or Instagram. Uh, and yes, Pablo. I just, I just want to say, Meher, to your audience, share this. Tell people about what Meher is doing, right? Like this guy's been working super hard, putting out this value. Don't just watch this and then go on to the next thing. Share this. Meher is doing great stuff. Reach out to him. Connect with him. He's been very open with me. Reach out to me. I would love to help you personally. But make sure you share this stuff, man. Meher, what you're doing is amazing, man. I just want to give you props for that. Thank you, Pablo. For that. I really appreciate that. And again, finally, for the audience, uh, tune in next time for another great interview that I'm preparing for you. And Pablo, again, thank you very much. We'll be in touch. Bye. Stay, buddy.